to our chief meteorologist, Carson Vickroy. And Carson, I know you said tomorrow is going to be around 90 degrees, especially for the Rose Festival. I'm sure some people are not going to be really happy with that. I'm sure they want, you know, more mm -hmm. fall weather as we're in October. You don't know what I'll say. We will probably hit 90 degrees in the majority of East Texas. But what I do think is going to happen is in the morning will be slightly cooler than that, meaning upper 70s, lower 80s for the parade in Tyler early tomorrow morning. But it was hot today. We were one degree shy of the record. We started looking at this at like three o'clock in the afternoon and I was like, we could get close to this and we sure did 92. That's the record high temperature set back in 1977. We were a degree shy of that and we were down to 58 this morning. So at least we had some relief and I do expect a carbon copy of that for tomorrow morning. But here are your highs. Crockett was the winner at 93. Hempville also got to 93, but Gilmer Mount Pleasant both at 88. Sulphur Springs and Mineola both clocked in at 90. Here are your temperatures. We are in the middle Middle to upper 60s, some lower 70s there. Tyler is at 71. It is 64 in Gilmer. Lufkin at 68 degrees. Dew points in the 40s and 50s. So while it is warm, at least we're not warm and humid, which would make it feel miserable outside. It was actually quite pleasant to go outside in today's 90 degree readings that we did see. But if it was humid, we'd be telling a whole different story right now. Little frontal boundaries moving to the south and to the southeast. It's really not doing anything for us tonight. We're down to 58. Clouds will be on the increase a little later on tonight, especially by tomorrow morning. And as we look at the weekend outlook, you can see for Saturday, we'll hit 90 degrees in the afternoon. But if you're heading out to the Rose Parade in the morning, temperatures will be in the upper 70s and lower 80s. But I do expect clouds the entire day. We'll see some periods of mostly sunny skies. We'll also see periods of mostly cloudy skies. That's why we're calling it partly cloudy. And then as we look at Sunday, we keep those same clouds in the forecast. Still warm, but a little more humid. Hence the higher low temperature. We're going to be at 65 Sunday morning, 87 degrees Sunday afternoon. Here is the Texas Rose Festival Parade forecast. As I mentioned before, 70s into the lower 80s, a few passing clouds, but not too shabby if you are heading out to the Texas Rose Festival Parade Saturday morning. Here's the 6 to 10 day precipitation outlook. It will get more active as we move into next week, particularly late in the week when the disturbance in the the front begin to move in our direction, which is what this map is showing us. It means precipitation will be above normal for this time of the year, and usually it's about a third of an inch of precipitation. That's what we typically see between October 26th and October 30th, which is what the map is valid for, and that happens to be next Saturday through next Wednesday, I believe. But the temperature outlook does look like we will be above normal, especially Thursday and Friday of next week where high temperatures will range from the upper 70s to lower 80s. Next seven days will be dry for the weekend. 80s Monday and Tuesday, 83 Wednesday, a few scattered showers and thunderstorms possible as we head into Thursday and Friday. As we look at deep East Texas, same deal dry for the weekend. 84 Monday and Tuesday. Best chance of rain will be late in the week. For the latest weather forecast, you can head on over to Fox51.com.